Shalom all. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom all. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, which consists of the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, so we got this video here by, uh, by this guy, Hebrew Aboriginal. All right, entitled The Burden of Egypt Proves Modern Egypt is Not Biblical, Isaiah 19 and 2. All right, so, you know, we're going we gonna, to uh, listen to the video, all right, and we're going to uh, do, uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, rebuke, you know, so hopefully, brother, if you see this video, all right, <laughs> this is out of love, brother. I just want our people to have, you know, the 400% truth. All right, because uh, modern Egypt is biblical. All right, and a lot of scriptures that you see, you know, predominantly this chapter here, Isaiah 19, it ain't, it ain't talk, it's not talking about ancient Egypt. All right, it's talking about the new Egypt. All right, America. All right, the U.S. All right, North America. That's the Egypt that it's talking about here. All right, so let's um. We're gonna play the video all the way through first, and then we're gonna replay it. And interject, all right, and I'm going uh, to give my commentary as we go. Uh, looking at the burden of Egypt, Isaiah chapter 19, the burden of Egypt as it relates to modern Egypt. And I'll start with verse 2. And I will see the, e and I will set Egyptian against Egyptian. And they shall fight, everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. And I'm gonna stop right there as it relates to modern Egypt. When did when did modern Egypt ever have kingdoms within its borders? It's just known as Egypt, right? You have the old kingdom, the new kingdom, middle kingdom. And you just basically have Egypt, right? So when did when did Egypt, modern Egypt, ever have different kingdoms of Egyptians within its borders on the Eastern Hemisphere? That's my question as it relates to modern Egypt. Because obviously biblical Egypt had different kingdoms within Egypt. So, anybody can tell me that. I just, I just want to know. That's all. I just, I just want to know. Once again, and I will set Egyptian against Egyptian, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. Now, where, where I think Egypt is in the Americas, you know, which would include a lot of the South, uh, some of the Southwest, and some of Mexico. These brothers and these different kingdoms within those area and w within that area, um, they fought against each other pretty much all the time. At a certain point, especially when the British and the French and the Spanish came, um, <clears throat> you know, indigenous people from, you know, maybe Mexico, had to fight with the Spanish against the French or the British or, you know, however it go in different uh, indigenous people from. Uh, let's say Missouri or Illinois, you know, had to had to join up with the French or the Britain to fight southern indigenous people. You know, so it was always, you know, those separate kingdoms, you know, and they did have to, uh, or they did end, end up warring with each other a lot and fighting against each other a lot and all this stuff. But uh, I'm going to go over the rest of the chapter, verse probably verse by verse because there's so much in here that destroys the Middle Eastern Egypt that is really ridiculous. But uh, if somebody can explain that to me that's on the other side, you know, when did um, modern e Egypt have different kingdoms within it? And not only that, when did they go to war with each other? When did they uh, basically, you know, conquer each other out or uh, whatever, you know? When did this happen in modern Egypt? 
All right, Shalom. I'll be back with the next verse. All right, and this, uh, I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures on, uh, on, on this video as my, um, as my response, because he did this video around, centered around verse two, so we're going to um, stay, you know, around that verse, but this is heavy that this video was in my recommended, because, uh, the Passover, all right, was last night, all right, and we're in, uh, Passat. All right, we're in the Passover right now, all right, and coming into the uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread. So, so, this, so this was the spirit, man, that I came across this video that, it was, like I said, it was in my recommended. All right, but you heard the brother ask, you know, when did, you know, he, he knows that, um, you know, it's obvious that the ancient Egyptian, uh, ancient Egypt had different kingdoms within its empire. Well, so does this, um, so does this modern Egypt, man. And when you see Egypt, it's talking about, all right, when you see that word Egypt, all right, in the first verse, it's talking about um, modern Egypt, all right, America. But when you see Egyptian, all right, it's talking about the uh, the um, Edomites, all right, the so-called white man. That's who it's talking about when it says Egyptian. So overall, it's talking about the, uh, it's talking about Esau, Edom, the Edomites, all right, but but you have Edomites that, that's all over the world, all right? And there, uh, and you have, of course, different Edomites in America. So when it says, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, it's talking about the so-called um, white people, all right? And that's what you see going on in um, America today, man, with all this infighting, all right? <laughs> all right, and, so, and you have to go into your words, man, all right? Because when you see city and kingdom, that word kingdom is really just another word for city in 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 um in this verse in verse two, all right in this context, all right. But again, the Lord said He would set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. That's what you see today, all right. This place is um these Americans all right are divided because um see they're getting their rights taken away too, so they're rising up against the uh, the um powers these elites the so-called government. All right, and, and you know, there um you have, you have a lot of whistleblowers coming out, and you have a lot of doctors and things, you know, and such exposing the real agenda behind this um pandemic. All right, the Crown Vic one nine. All right, so these Egyptians, all right, these Edomites are divided, man. All right, so let's start with um, and that's what Yahweh Shah said, man. So we can we can start with that. All right, uh, Matthew twelve. All right, because the, as, as our Lord Yahweh said, the house divided against itself cannot stand. All right, so let's start with that. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse, we can start at 25. All right, and this is red love, so this is um, Yahweh speaking. And he, the book of um, St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 25, and Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. If Satan, so like in verse 26, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then shall his kingdom stand? And that's what, and that's what, um, that's what it says. All right. That's what it says. That's what it says. And, um, in verse two, all right, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what Yahweh shall said, man. That's what he's uh, told the Pharisees. All right, every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. All right. So let's get um let's get uh what's that um Joel because um it says in the scriptures that this new Egypt would be ruled by the so-called white man Esau Edom. That's why they're linked together. 
in all many in, uh, in all many scriptures, uh, because th that's who would be that's that's who this new Egypt would be under the rule of. All right, so let's get this real quick. Joel chapter three, verse nineteen. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. All right, <laughs> and that's that's what happened in America, man. They did that to the um, Northern Kingdom with the um, Native American and similar Indians. All right, they kept them off, raped, robbed, and murdered them, and put them on the reservation. And they brought the um, Southern Kingdom, you know, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi over here on them on slave ships, man. All right. And that's what happened. That's why it's linking um, Egypt and Esau Edom together, man, because that's who this um, new Egypt is ruled. This modern day Egypt is ruled by Esau Edom. All right. And to prove that, let's get um, Jeremiah 49. All right. This is the book of um, Jeremiah, chapter um, 49, verse. Let's see what we can start. Yeah, man, we started on, um, let's see, we can start at 17, because I'll tell you how, how this, how Esau Edom is going to be, um, it's going to be destroyed, all right? This new Egypt is going to be destroyed, as we read, um, Esau, Esau and Edom, and this new modern day Egypt is linked together, all right? And, and it tells you right here in Jeremiah what's going to happen to Esau Edom, man, to this new Egypt, all right? This book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 17. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh No man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. And that's not the case with ancient either. Ancient, ancient Egypt, all right? People are dwelling in that land right now. All right? Now, it was desolate, all right, but... But people are dwelling there now, all right? And people visit there um, to see the pyramids and all that. So, hey, it ain't talking about ancient Egypt, man. It's talking about a new Egypt, modern-day Egypt, all right? AKA, AKA America, all right? <laughs> all right, and a key point I want to get in verse 17, all right? This last, uh, this last little segment right here, this last little um, sentence. All right, and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. All right, <laughs> and when you go to Second Edris, it tell you that this um he's gonna smite Egypt with plague. Matter of fact, let's just go get it. All right, because Lord said he's gonna smite Egypt with plagues as before. All right, so let's get um Second Edris. Let me see where is it. At? Let's get Second Edris fifteen. Let's start at 10. This book of 2nd Edges, chapter 15, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the, to the um, slaughter, Salaki. Let me read it again, Salaki. Verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. All right. So why is the Lord <laughs> saying that He won't uh, bring us out of Egypt when Egypt was already Egypt had our ancient Egypt had already failed? Because it ain't talking about ancient Egypt; it's talking about a new Egypt. All right, the, uh, a modern the modern day Egypt. All right, Babylon the Great, aka America. That's the Egypt that it's talking about. All right. <laughs> So yeah, uh, brother, uh, Hebrew Aboriginal. All right, you ask. Uh, let me find that part. You ask when was when was the modern Egypt? You know what what modern day Egypt has different kingdoms. All right, and really when you get that word kingdom, it really means um, city. All right, or province. All right. Cause I, let me see. I just, I just want to know. That's all. Okay. This leave biblical Egypt had different kingdoms within Egypt. <clears throat> so, anybody can tell me that. 
I just, I just want to know. That's all. Yeah, I just, I just want to know. Once again, and I will set Egyptian against Egyptian, and they shall fight everyone against his brother. All right, again, when you see Egyptians, is talking about Edomites. All right, and they're, and they're how this infighting in America, and they're coming against each other, man. That's what's going on in New Egypt right now. All right, and let's get this real quick in the song. Because Esau Edom is known as the wicked. That's Malachi, the first chapter around the fourth verse. All right. This book of Psalms, um, this is Psalm 64 and 8. So that shall make. And let's start a little bit up so you'll know who it's talking about. Because it's talking about Esau Edom, the wicked. All right. Let's get, let's start at the top. Well, let's start around the second verse real quick so you'll know who, who this, who this who this um, chapter is centered around. It's talking about the so-called white man, Esau Edom. All right. This is a Psalm of David. All right. Psalm 64, verse 2. Hiding from the secret, secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. All right. <laughs> so, that's, so it shows you, um, it tells you who it's talking about. It's talking about Esau Edom. All right, and let's go jump down to verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. All right, so there you go, man. That's what's going on now. Like I said, you have these different whistleblowers. They're coming out, you know, and telling the agenda of the elites, you know, not knowing that they're all the same people. All right, <laughs> and that prophecy is being fulfilled. All right, as King David said, as King David wrote, they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. And that's what you see going on. All right, in this new Egypt. All right, but yeah, this is why it's, it, this is why it's important to go into words, man. Because kingdom can be likened, the kingdom in the second verse, Isaiah nineteen and two, can be likened unto cities. All right, modern day cities. All right, so let's get it in the. Uh, let's get that word. Um, Kingdom, all right, in the blue letter. Bear with me for a second. I see a nineteen two. And it tells you before, before it says kingdom, it says city against city. All right. This is the word for our kingdom. Strong's age 4467. Menlacha. 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 All right. Dominion, the estate rule, country, realm, kingdom, all right, kingdom, dominion, reign, sovereignty, yeah, man, all right, <laughs> you have different rules within within this new Egypt, all right, and that's why these different um, cities got different laws, man, all right, <laughs> you know, different gun laws, different drug laws, all right. Each city has its own laws, man. So that's what it's saying when it says kingdom against kingdom. It says it's talking about these different cities. All right? Because every city is really, it really has its own rule. All right? Every state, every state has within these, and all these different states within America, this modern day Egypt has its own rules, man. It's talking about provinces, all right? Cities or states. When you see that word kingdom. All right, let's get it. Um, let's get some. Let's get some different versions. Let's get it in the NLT. Yeah, man, here you go. Isaiah chapter nineteen, verse two. And I will make the Egyptians fight against Egyptians, brother against brother, neighbor against neighbor, city against city, province against province. All right. <laughs> So yeah, man. In a province, it's like it unto a state. All right, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. 
a principal administrative division of certain countries or empires. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you go, man. It's talking about these different states and these different cities. All right. An administrative division of or unit of a country. A country, territory, district, or region. Yeah, man. <laughs> so that's what it's talking about when you see kingdom. All right, right here, man. A province is a large section of a country that has its own administration. Yeah, and that's why these different states got these different laws. Because that's what it's talking about, man. All right, and America has always, basically, since that devil Columbus came over here and they established um, Babylon, man, America. It was divided, all right, from, you know, from, from the 13 um, colonies. All right, to up until now, man, and that's what the um, that's what the Civil War was about. All right, that was, that was two different kingdoms. All right, within within um an empire, man, you had the North and the South. The Civil War, man, that's what. <laughs> hey, and that was fighting over the Israelites, man, because you know the South wanted to keep its own um dominion, have its own administration, its own rule, but the North. All right, the North um, had frat factories and the South had slaves. And the South, and basically what the North was saying is, you know, you got to free these slaves because we got these factories now. And the South said, no, nah, man, you know, we're going to keep our slave labor. We're going to get this free, free labor, man. We, you know, y'all want to have build these factories and want to have somebody to work them, but, you know, we're going we gonna to keep getting this free labor, man. And that's what the Civil War was about. It wasn't about freeing the slave. It was about... Uh, <laughs> The South joining with the North, man. And ultimately, that's what happened because the um, North won. All right. But, but yeah, that was two different. That was kingdom against kingdom, man. But it was all it was all one nation. It was all America, but it was two different um, kingdoms. So, yeah, man. And when you see that word um, kingdom, brother, brother Hebrew Aboriginal, that's what it's talking about, man. It's talking about provinces. And that's what's going on today, man. You know, <laughs> you got these different states with these, you know, different abortion laws and different um, different drug laws, different gun laws. <laughs> and that's that's that that's what that's what it, that's what the Lord is talking about, man. City against city, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. It's talking about these different states within this new Egypt. All right. And America is patented, patented after ancient Egypt, man. And I'm going to play a video at the end all right, by the brothers of GMS Dallas, and they're going to go into it. All right. I'm going to play that all the way through. Right? I'm going to play that at the end when I get through speaking after um, this video. But, uh, yeah, they're going into it, man, how this new Egypt, all right, America, is just like ancient Egypt, man, which is new Egypt, which America is all, you know, uh, some of... They got some, it's really all the ancient kingdoms rolled into one, you know, Babylon, Egypt, Rome, Greece, Babylon, Assyria, Medo, Persia, it's really all them rolled into one, but, you know, they're going to they gonna break it down how, how, you know, this this new Egypt, it's just like the old Egypt, um, just new Egypt for America, it's just like the old Egypt, man, all right, and it was an um, a article that I wanted to get showing you the um, similarities, the commonalities, man. All right, because all you got to do, if you don't think this America is the new Egypt, look at the back of your dollar bill, man. All right, it's all there. All right. America, uh, my, hopefully I can find it. It was, uh, yep, here we go. All right. Egypt, the first America. America, the modern day Egypt. And that's what it is, man. And we're going to read a bit of this. I'm going to read it kind of fast because I don't, want, I don't want this to be too long. All right. Studying America, we have learned that America is an Illuminati-based nation which started its nation on July 4, 1776. 
and its courage to be has the date of May 1st, 1776, hidden in its sigil. The date coincides with jo Johan Adam Weishaupt's secret college cults of Greek fraternities and sorority. There go that Greek culture. All right, who Mr. Weishaupt was a Jesuit priest. Rome holds the triple crown extension of the double crown that was worn by the Egyptian pharaoh, which I am assuming signifies when the Illuminati began total domination over the entire planet. Since that time, all sorts of men from all walks of life have joined the worldwide secret order seeking power, fortune, glory, vengeance, and all manner of evil conduct because such brotherhood shielded them from prosecution. This society has been creating more and more cults that make up a ring of cults that lead right to the door of the Vatican, Rome. All these evil cults have within them the worship of devils that is evil spirit conjure, using sigils and illusions to zombify the public via te television, music, and art. All the religions of the day have their own origin with Illuminati members and are used mainly as control systems. All these cults and religions are full of sexual deviance, sodomy, pedophilia, sex with animals, bestiality, which is forbidden all right, in our law, all right, in the Torah, sex with animals, and insidious philosophy that attacks all more values and fair judgment. All right. <laughs> America is the modern Egypt with its same flag honoring its Freemason Illuminati which started in Egypt with the copy of the Phallus Monument which symbolizes male rules which means gay male secret societies along with feminist, lesbian secret societies. Here are more correlations that prove definitely that America is the modern Egypt. Washington, D.C. is very similar to Memphis with emphasis on slavery, sodomy, incest, human and child sacrifice, and spiritual heresy. All right. Are there really similarities between Egypt and America? Here are some of the astounding similarities. Egypt. All right. Nile River. Nile equals cradle of civilization. River divides the entire country. About 30% of land east on the Nile. Other 70% west. Memphis, Egypt on the Nile. Pyramids and statues in Memphis, Egypt. Luxor, Egypt. Pyramids and statues. All right. Now, America. All right. <laughs> Mississippi River. Just like the Nile. Mississippi equals cradle of American civilization. River divides the entire country. About 30% of land east of the Mississippi. Other 70% west. Memphis, USA on the, on the Mississippi. Just like Memphis was on the, on the Nile in ancient Egypt. Pyramid and statue in Memphis. All right. Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas with the Sphinx and Pyramid. So there you go, man. Uh, hey, don't get more plain, man. And you, all right. We read about um, earlier up in here. Let's see. Because we're going to get the scripture on it. Uh. Let's go here real quick. Here are more correlations that prove definitely America is the modern Egypt. Washington, D.C. is very similar to Memphis with emphasis on slavery, sodomy, incest, human and child sacrifice, and spiritual heresy. All right. And going, going into that sodomy, all right. What does Revelation, uh, what does on the book of Revelation chapter 11 verse 8 say? Let's go get it. <laughs> Let's go get it, man. Because it ain't talking about ancient Egypt, brother. All right, Isaiah, Isaiah the 19 chapter, I ain't talking about ancient Egypt. All right, so let's go get this real quick. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right, <laughs> And that's, that's talking about the new Egypt, man. America. And what you see going on now with these alphabet people, these LGs and Bs and Ts and Qs and <laughs> and that whole movement, man. Alright. <laughs> Alright, this the Lord refers to this place as Sodom and Egypt, man. And why Egypt? Because of our captivity, man. And as we just read in the article, alright, this place is patented, patented after Egypt. All right, so there you go, man. Spiritually, Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified, and how was Yahweh crucified? 
All right, he was asked out. They made him to look like a so-called white man, which he is a so-called black man, a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of um, Judah. That's how he was asked out, man. All right, that didn't happen in ancient Egypt. All right, that happened in this new Egypt. All right, our Lord was crucified. And you got this bug doctrine. A lot of our people that people believe that the actual land that we're in now is it is um Egypt. They believe that it's the same land mass, but that's not the case, man. All right, the, the, we're in the west. All right, ancient ancient Egypt is in the east. All right, because if that was sold, then then <laughs> then what what where was the slaves brought from if if it was the same land? All right, so that's a bug out doctrine, man. It's two different land masses. All right. But yeah, I just want to bring this out real quick, man. So, brother, if you see this video, you know, hopefully, you know, this made sense to you. And, you know, it, it resonates with you and you get the proper understanding because it's not talking about um, ancient Egypt. All right. And this kingdom is split right now, man. All right. Like I said, you have the, all these different states within this new Egypt. They have its own laws, its own administration, its own rule. Alright. So I ain't really want to make this long, you know, no long drawn out lesson, but I just hope, you know, the brother gets a clear understanding. Because a lot of our people need the full truth, man. Especially with the times we're in now. You know, we got to know the truth, man, so we can have that stable mindset. Because this place is going down, this new Egypt is going down, man. Alright, and there's a lot more scriptures I could have brought out on the new Egypt. You know, you got more in Isaiah. All right. But he did this video centered around verse 2, so I kind of wanted to stay around verse 2 as well. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go play on the video. Let's see. It's on um, Air the Yasha Wamba's channel. From their street speaking to, um, the other night. I'm going to go play it on my phone because I don't want it to freeze up. You know, I want to take that chance of it, you know, low and slow freezing up. But I just wanted to show you the video. And this is his page. You know, this is El Yasha Wamba's page of GMS Dallas. Remember to say 144, go subscribe and be edified daily. All right, and, it, and it, it's from this video here. Uh, GMS, March 3rd. 2023 live street speak. All right, and they're gonna go into it. And like I said, I'm gonna play it all the way through. So hopefully, brother, you you know you get some edification and the proper understanding from this video that I'm doing. You know, because it's not talking about ancient Egypt; it's talking about the new Egypt. All right, and this new Egypt is under the um rule of the Edomites, so-called white man. All right, so I'm gonna go play the video. You know, so hopefully this was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Peace and blessings, Shalom to the hopeful elect, the house of David. All right, DJ, Ababa Ball, Shalom. All right, Habakkuk chapter 2 and 17. For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee, and the spoil of beasts which made them afraid, and because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land and of the city, and for all that dwell therein. That's what Esau did. He came to the, he's basically, as the scriptures say, like all of these train derailments. Like there's things being just purposely just put into the atmosphere, into the water, into the water stream. That stuff is a bit, that's gonna affect you. If the Mississippi River is polluted and, and dried out, that affects 80% of the country, bro. <laughs> right. That's yes. a big ass river. Right. right. The Mississippi River is big and a whole. It affects all types of ecosystems, travel, how we move, merchandise. Yes. Yes. My problem with the Nile River, if you look at it, I think. I did a, a Google it and mapped up the Nile River. The Nile River is longer, but it, it runs through Egypt. It's similar to how. The Mississippi River. Mississippi River is basically the now river uh, uh, of of the new modern day Egypt. And the proof of that is when you get uh, Isaiah the 19th chapter, somebody get it, but get it in the NLT. 
Bro. Because we know this is talking about the uh, the, the, the modern day uh, Egypt in this chapter. Okay, the spiritual Egypt. Because when you get Revelation, the uh, 11th chapter, and it talks about a spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Man, what, what I was thinking, of, what I was thinking about is, I wanna, uh, I'm gonna do a Google search on this. It's like how many Israelites were in the Nile River to find, yeah. because of how many Jake right. they find yeah. in the Mississippi River, Mississippi River to this day. Oh, that makes sense. Because yeah. they was feeding Jake to alligators in ancient Egypt, just like they fed us to alligators yeah. here in Babylon. In, in the they were doing that to Jake in ancient Egypt in Mississippi. Yeah, bro. I, I, you know, they still find Jake Florida, Long yeah, yeah. in the Mississippi River. Yeah. They'll find random Negro skulls down at the bottom of the Mississippi River where they was, you know, cast into that. Right. Yeah, I wonder, it, you know, NLT I, uh, 19 and 5. Isaiah, yeah. Whoever. Yeah, this is Isaiah 19 and 5 in the NLT. It says, The waters of the Nile will fail to rise and flood the fields. Right. Now ain't that happening? Oh. This is speaking of the this is speaking of the modern Egypt. Because when you read this chapter, Egypt wasn't in power like this at this time. Okay? Yeah. This is speaking of the modern day Egypt, but guess what? The Mississippi River is drying up. We saw it. We saw it. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, monkey in the kingdom, he, man, he gonna be on point. <laughs> Fuck Esau. I'll come back with it. Yep. Isaiah 19 and 5 in the NLT, the waters of the Nile will fail to rise and flood the fields. Right, the, the, the waters of the Nile, which the waters of the Mississippi River is the modern day Nile River, which runs through Memphis. The Mississippi uh, yeah. River runs through Memphis, Memphis, Egypt. What's in Memphis right now? Big ass pyramid. This is the this is the new Egypt, and the, the the modern day now river is the Mississippi River, and it's destroyed. It's dried up. It's polluted. Yeah, it's fucked up. Okay, it's messed up, <laughs> literally. And the rivers are important. Creek rivers are very important to ecosystem. To you, you're you you supposed to be able to drink out of the river. In ancient Egypt, they were able to drink out of the Nile River. Go drink out of the Mississippi River. Well, go drink out of the Good Mississippi luck. River. Right? Lock up and fall like a fucking right. You start saying it's a heavenly name. <laughs> go ahead. Talking about you, David. Talking about you, David. Turning to David. You know, you drinking that Mississippi water. Yeah, they must be drinking that water. They drinking that Mississippi water. Yeah. You know how you at the water, you at the park. And then you see that fountain. Yeah. Like, and you drink out that fountain. Two weeks <laughs> doing that too much. Then you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm King David. Right. Right. Oasis. Right. It right. says the end Chicken of Chicken tender five. with no sides. Yeah. <laughs> no fries. All, no fries. All meat. Yeah, that's that's brown how liquor. Got all that candy. That's yeah. how them breakdowns be coming yeah. Chicken and whiskey. <laughs> Chicken and, and whiskey. It don't work. Right. You got to have yeah. a side, bro. Go ahead. It says the riverbed will be parched and dry. The canals of the Nile will dry up and the streets of Egypt will stink with rotting seeds and rushes. Now somebody look up the Mississippi River drying and see if you can find just, you ain't got to go too deep into an article. But we're showing the people that this, again, these words are faithful and true. It's a living document. It's a living document. Huh? And again, as the Elder Bond brought out, the same way that the Nile River ran through ancient Egypt is the same way the Mississippi River runs through the modern day Egypt. It's the same thing. Okay? And that thing that just happened in Ohio, okay, the Ohio River runs into the Mississippi River. Go all that should go all the way to the Gulf. Right. That's a very important uh, river, man. And see, niggas just like, ah, whatever. That's going to eventually affect your life. This is what we're trying to tell you. You keep hearing these rumors, eventually all these things are going to stack up and culminate in judgment and things happening on the earth. Somebody got something? Yep. I typed in Mississippi River Drought 
and the, uh, it says the Mississippi River is currently going through a historic drought <laughs> with multiple parts experiencing record low water level. Record low, according to prophecy. Okay? The river's messed up. That mess up jobs. That mess up the flow of things. That mess up the water quality. Go ahead. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We ain't got to go too deep into it. Is it some more? Isaiah. Back in Isaiah 19 and uh, 7 in the NLT, it says all the greenery along the riverbank and all the crops along the river will dry up and blow away. Now when we drove by it, when we went out there to uh, break bread with those brothers a couple of months ago, it looked horrible, man. We saw it with our own eyes, man. Dry as, dry as hell. You can see some of the actual riverbed, you see where the water right, is. Right, right, right. A big right. portion of right. it, just the actual riverbed, there's no water. Right. Like Except fish that may have walked off like that. Yeah, fish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, you got lake. people <laughs> fishing particular bodies of water, all right, because the oxygen levels are so thrown off, they just beach them, they just jump out of the water <laughs> and just die. All over the earth, mass death of animals, fish, and what does this go to? The fact that the devil was coming down with great wrath, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. All right, so there you go, man. Uh, I just wanted to let that play all the way through. But, you know, again, brother, hopefully uh, to this brother. Um, to this brother. Shalom, uh, shalom. This brother Hebrew Aboriginal, hopefully, you know, you got, you know, you got some understanding and it makes sense now. All right. That it's talking about um, this new Egypt. It's not talking about ancient Egypt. So, again, hopefully this was edified through the spirit and power of Yah, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, by Shem, Rukakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and rule well on our truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David. DTA, Ababa, Shalom.